Wow, 7.03, I'm almost too late. Nobody attacked me, please, today, and we're live. Pioneer Invitational Racing Pigeon Club. Happy Wednesday, today, Tuesday or Wednesday, what day is it? Tuesday, happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, guys, stay hydrated. Bob Simpson, you're in the house, you're my man, Bobby boy. Ricky Z, he's tuned in, thumbs up, wild faces. Make sure you can hear me. You'll probably hear Loft Manager Richard in the background. He's spinning on the ones and twos. We got Dan Horner and Frank Eichhorn, you're in. Whew, I had to rush to get to this one today, guys. Those Woodland Fairies, they were out dancing around, just dancing around. Ricky Cruz, thanks for tuning in. Guys, say hello. Dave, thanks for tuning in as well. Your birds are looking good. How was your training today? Yesterday, it looked like they were all over the place or whenever you posted that in. Swoop Loop, thanks for tuning in. Hey, have you done any more training tosses? Swoop Loop, let us know. We want to see the big win out of you guys. Big win for Swoop Loop the other day. Anyways, contest night. Yes, it is. We're going to be announcing the names, guys. Oh, I just want to show everyone. Boot camp starts tomorrow. That's correct. Boot camp starts tomorrow. We're going to discuss our different colors of rings, team names, the orange wizards, maybe. Is it the orange twisters? I don't know what's going on. Anyways, guys, we got the electronic bands. Whoops, electronic bands here. Neil, Petey Pigeon, how are you, my man? Got everybody give a shout out to Petey. We're going to go start feeding birds. And while we feed the birds and get them in, we got sections one and two. They've been locked out for today, so they're going to get a shot at coming in. Sections three had the hallway back and forth a bit. Hey, even section four got a shot today at running in the hallway. They're all training better, the B team. Hey, that's good, Dave. And you know what? You ask Dave, you ask any pigeon guy with some knowledge. You don't have to ride the bike the first time you get on it, guys. Pigeons is common sense. Think about what I'm saying. First time you call them, they're not going to come in. Look at our birds. We always use common sense. Take your time. Brad, thanks for tuning in. Good job, Mike, saying hi to Petey. Hey, Philippe, let me have a sip. We're going to talk about the contest while we're in the loft. We're going to start getting in groups one and two. And you know what I love here? This is when we're at the coop. We got loft manager Richard. Richard, say hi. There he is. Richard saying hi. All right, Carl Gavin, thanks for tuning in. Wayne Bodwine, hey, 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 Wayner, Wayner, my man from Calgary. Your birds were out in the hallway again today. We're going to come down to the loft. We're going to take a look at groups one and two. A couple in group two look a little beat up. All the birds on group two today had a lovely ideal pill. Also, group one had an ideal pill today. A little red here. He's hurting, I can tell. He's got a little bit of stomach pain. We're going to just call him as we see him. Dave Crozier, how's it going? Where's my man Mittens? I hope Mittens is going to come and say hi. But group one, group two's out. And as you can see, guys, this is part of the race. You can see them. Look at Little Red here, struggling a little bit, but that's okay. It's part of the game. Boot camp starts. And this is why we said, guys, have your pigeons ready for battle. Don't say we didn't warn you. Every one off race should warn you. Boot camp is a dangerous thing. Again, we're getting the all-in-one or the champion block label. We're going to start with the... Oh, before I get into this, I'm going to just slow down and take my time. I feel like I'm out on like high energy mode. Guys, uh, today we washed the uh, perches with a little bit of lime on sections one and two. Came down, gave them a quick little uh, a bathing. And what do I mean by bathing? Fresh lime paint, fresh lime paint, fresh, fresh, fresh. It's nice and dry, perfect. Again, scrape them out, put a fresh coat on them. We like to see nice, clean perches. And you know what, guys? Once the birds tighten up, the perches will stay a bit cleaner. Again, we've added about three Versalaga scoops of floor granules. We did that to every section today, but I do want to show you what we mean by clean perches, dirty perches. Again, we got to fix those Joseph doors. Again, there you go. You can see clean, a quick little bath of the whitewash, the lime, gets them nice, gets them clean. You see, if not, you have this, you have residue. You have residue. This way, they're clean. Carlos, thanks for tuning in. 
There. Hey, Justin Kennedy, nice to see you tuned into our page. Congratulations, you're new on here. You're more than welcome to be a Pioneer member, and thanks for your time. We hope you like what you see. So we're going to, whoops, we're going to start off by feeding sections three and four here. And we're just going to give them a nice little sprinkle here of the all-in-one. Day two of the darkening. And guys, the devil hasn't come, but I feel he's coming. And what do we mean by the devil? For new people, hey, sickness. Sickness will come. Again, these bloody doors. You can hear me grunting and groaning and carrying on. Let's take a look. Section number four. Now, I found this section's had the least amount of stress, like section number one. One and four seem to have done the best. Remember, guys, section three and four came from more out west, so a little more travel. All right, now, once again, sorry, I'm going to set this camera up here. Uh, I'm going to set her up so we can see what we're doing. I'm going to bring in section number one right now. <sighs> Aaron, hey, Aaron, you don't have to build them, but thank you very much. We always appreciate, let's see how we want to do this here today. You know what, I'm going to just hang on to the camera, guys. And sorry if you're getting a little bit seasick. This is the beauty about doing lives. I'm the one-handed lav major. Happy birthday, Rodney G. Thanks for tuning in. Aaron, thanks for the compliment. And yes, Lopez, you're in the house. Ian, Easy E, what's up? Again, guys, if they don't learn how to ride the bike fairly quick, what we do is open it up and give them a pass today. We all get a hall pass every once in a while. We remember that when we were kids. Now again, hey guys, if they don't come in and they're not listening, that's okay. We have to get out our magic wand. Thanks guys for tuning in. Pioneer Invitational, live loft cam, live fun, 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 fun for everyone. No, Richard's not in the hot tub, but thanks, Petey, for asking. Richard sometimes does get in that hot tub. You know what? One of these days we'll get him in there. One time we had the hot tub open, and we had the pigeons come up for just a little bath. It was quite something to see, actually. And you'll see, actually, if you look at uh, typing on YouTube, pigeons taking a bath in a pool, you'll get it a lot of the time in swimming pools. All right. Section one is all said and done. It's time for section two. Let's check out these guys and see how they're going to do. Again. Well, sorry, I got to move. So let's see. Let's get some more. Let me see what I can do here. Again, I'm the one-handed. I'm the one-handed show. <laughs> sorry about that, guys. And I'm going to be honest with you. It's hard to uh, doing all this stuff at once. Cam I've got to get a camera crew. If you're interested in being a camera crew with us, please let us know. I mean, I think I need a camera crew more than I need sliding doors. All right, lot two. We're going to start them off now. we got to get them a little bit of the good stuff. What do we mean by good stuff? Versalaga, Champion Block Label. Why are we on Champion Block Label, guys? It's quite simple. We want them to learn how to eat that special black corn. 
to help get rid of that elastic acid when we hit out the threes in the 400 mile races. These guys are going to try the bobs today. Let's see how they do. Whoops, and I like to see that twizzle. Thank you, Billy, for tuning in. Your little mealy's doing good. How do I know Billy gave a little mealy well? Because we don't have a ton of mealies, and I know Bill brought one. Again, guys, learning how to ride a bicycle. We all learn how to ride bicycles at different stages. So please just be patient. Let them ride. Yeah, remember, guys, pigeon racing is not for people without patience. Take your time. Stay a while. Enjoy them. Let them tell you. Look, look what we got in the, in the hallway. They've been locked up in school here all day. We got one slow one from Wolfamania. This one is uh, Excalibur, what was his name? Extreme Wolf. Extreme Wolf's first day out on, in, on the job. Extreme Wolf's a beautiful blue pied, by the way, from Wolf, Wolf Hill Lofts. From Wolfie, my man Marion. Oh, oh, let's go give him a little push in. Come on, guys, let's encourage Wolfie on. Oh, as soon as I come out, old little Wolf Man went in. There we go. And just like that, Wolfie, Wolfie didn't want to stick in the bum. All right, guys, so let's slow down. Let's take a deep breath. We might need some sweet jack here in a minute. I know I'm just about ready for a drinky poo. Come on, sweetie, let's go. Oh, don't get, don't get squirrely on me. There you go. All right, guys. Les Cooper, thank you, Jerry. How are you? And say hi to my man Les from Poland. Woo-hoo. Anyways, guys, birds are eating good, carrying on good. Uh, I like the appetite still. Not seeing a super amount of water intake, which I like. Let's see how we're looking here. Again, they're still onto the Vercon. These birds absolutely hate the IC Plus pellets right now. They're just not for it, but that's okay. We keep giving it to them, and once we get a little bit of age, guess what we're going to do? We're going to say, until you eat these pellets... No more good stuff because pellets, these pellets are expensive. Now these two groups, like I said, group one and group two, they were out from about two o'clock on. Uh, again, they all had a little bit of hallway time before they got the big, uh, the big boot out the door and said, hey guys, go to school. Hold on, yep. No, nope, we're sold out of the, the big ones. Can you come closer? I can't hear over a har Harley. Thank you, Loft Manager Richard. It was a triumph, and this is what we do here, guys. We're working, we're on air. Honda with the exhaust cut off. Honda with the exhaust cut off. Oh, God, Richard, yeah. you didn't even say happy birthday to Wally. He's just turned 93rd. Okay. The pins for the uh, baskets. Yep. This fellow here bought. Didn't have a pin. Take one out of another crate. Buy the last crate. I got more in the garage. Where are they? They're in that.
building there. It says collapsible blue baskets. I wrote them in marker, please. They're in there. They're 100%. Sorry, guys. I, I'm, I'm, I'm babysitting right now. Blue, brown box. It says collapsible blue baskets. Or they're in the trailer. Thank you. Again, guys, it could be playing tricks on us, those woodland fairies. They move stuff from time to time. Oh, we got another section that's done. And again, guys, I'm just showing you every section here. They love to leave that little bit of pellets. And that's okay. We're going to switch everybody off now to one of my favorite feeds. It just doesn't get enough love. The reindeer food. Stuff that makes the reindeer fly. And yes, guys, how do I know that? Because I met Santa Claus when I was a little boy, and that's what he told me. We don't lie here, Pioneer. We just tell you the truth. And actually, the person who really told me that was Bluff Manager Richard. Anyways, any more questions? Don't feel sh So the team names, yes. And we're going to start from the birds that came in first. They're going to be the section one. Uh, Swoop loop. Wait, we we're excited to find out. Oh, yeah, there you go. You're right. Thank you, Leah, for letting me know on that one. Twice. L. Section one. So section one, I'm going to take you over and show you section one. I just want to make sure everybody has a little bit of reindeer food. Look at this good old section three here. They're looking good. Barbie, thanks for tuning in. Yes, Barbie, they are looking good. Oh, Barbie, if you want to see your little uh, your little warrior, he's uh, here's little Barbie's warrior, guys. Gerard's a new member. There she is, right there. Red Ganja. What a great name. I don't know nothing about that, but hey, Wayne, there's your pies up in the top rope. Okay, let's go over to section one. This is section one, guys. We're going to give you the color and the team name. This is the oldest group of kids. And we may have to do some adjusting on teams, which we are going to do. So please. So, tomorrow in the afternoon time, we're going to have a live going on here where section one. They are going to be electronically chipped and color chipped. Section one right here with the lone little mealy for now is the orange rockets. You guys got a big, you guys got the name rocket, so you better be the first every week. Orange rockets right here. Section number one is the orange rockets. And again, I want to hit them with just a little bit of reindeer food. Oh, one little sneaky guy got by me. Mike Vandriak, bird right here. Come on, let's get back. Come on. Come on, get back over. Oh, look at how excited they are. Come on, guys, get back into your room. They all come out on you. They just love to get out and play around. It's... It's chaos in the loft, guys. This is live TV. Sometimes I can't even control these little kids. The cadets are rebelling. The orange rockets. Guys, they're living right up to their name, right off the hop with the orange rockets. The orange... We're going to we're gonna have to... Yeah, they like their name. We're going to have to get them out the orange little stick here in a minute. Here we go. And, guys, I want a big shout-out to a guy who loves this orange stick. It's Geert Munich. He had his birthday... This week, God, we've had a lot of people with birthdays. And again, I'm the camera guy. They still, whoop. Come on, children, let's get back into our room, the Orange Rockets. Congratulations to this team. They're hot to trot. They are like the Orange Rockets. Come on, guys. <coughs> Tomorrow we're going to be chipping and banding the orange rockets, so you're going to see them live. They're going to have a little vaccination as well. We're going to hit them with a little respiratory powder, the good stuff, or a respiratory vaccine, which we'll show you on tomorrow's show. 
Every day from on after tomorrow, we are going to be banding one team at a time. So uh, tomorrow will be the Orange Rockets. And they are going to get chipped up, get their marker bands put on. And we're going to put a list of everyone on the Orange Rocket team. This little guy right here, he's having a little bit of stomach pain. A little bit of pain right now, but that's okay. We are now looking at section two. And Petey, if you're there, my man, right back... Right back there. There he is. There's your man. There's Sweet Jack Jr. Section two. What's the name? What's the color in the name? What do you guys think? The yellow warriors, they will be marked with yellow rings. They will be chipped on Thursday, and you will follow us along on Thursday with them as well. Section number two will be the yellow warriors. Great name, Yellow Warriors. Carlos, thanks for those thumbs up, guys. I need... Yeah, guys, great for participation. And, and this is what we're looking for right here. See? Not feeling right. Not feeling right. He's going to be getting some special treatment here after the show, but that's okay, guys. Remember, everybody doesn't ride this bike. Everybody is not going to pass. They're not going to make it through boot camp every, every cadet. Uh, so you got to be ready for that. Section number three, we're here. I call them sort of the Calgary boys, but section. Section three, Purple Knights. You got the Purple Knights here in section three. And guys, you're asking, well, why are we doing this? You're going to have to wait and see. But we want to thank everybody for participating and doing the voting because, guys, this is about having fun. This is Beer League. This is... So the Purple Knights, we will be doing a live show with them. They will have their opportunity on Friday in the afternoon time where you're going to see each one of them. We're going to read their name out, chip them up, give them their shot as well. As we keep rolling on, guys, each team... You will be able to see Henry. Thanks for tuning in. Evening to everyone. And again, uh, this group here is doing good. They're moving on very, very well. Again, guys, you'll see the little red there in the corner. Might be just a bit thirsty. Still on the Vercon. We're going to roll on to the last, guys. Section four. Could these be the, could these be the Bobby Dazzlers? I don't know. Section four. Section four, their name says everything. They're the green machines. And guys, yes, we are going to make sure the teams uh, are organized uh, to the best of our abilities. Uh, so please, 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 to make it fair for everybody. So if your bird was in the fourth section and it's in the third or back and forth, whatever, we're just doing some adjustments, guys. Remember, we're taking our time, making sure it goes good. Again, these guys had a pretty good day. Look, we got a little love in the box there. Little love in the box. Some sleeping beauties up here. I know the Eichhorn family, there they are right there. The two of them go side by side all the time. I don't know where the checker is, but the little checker is down. And again, guys, they love the baby perch. I recommend putting these in your loft. Try them out. Try out a little baby perch. See if, I, if, it, if, if they don't go to it, you know? And again, we will leave them with dinner. Tonight, we're gonna leave them with extra feed. So when they come and wake up in the morning, even though it's dark, they can go down, they can get a little nibble, they can go to the drinker, they can have a drink, and they can keep growing. These are flowers and we gotta grow them. The worst thing that we're actually doing is putting them in the dark because it's hard to grow a flower in the dark. And some birds don't take to darkening well, they stress out. You can see it after a few days. Again, again, right here, you'll see a little red there in the corner. He's not feeling good. I'm going to give him a dunk, a little drink, see if he wants a drink. Let me just set my camera. Not feeling well, but that, that's okay. Guys, this is pigeon racing. We have to get used to this. And again, guys, sometimes people don't take the time to educate the birds. Again, he's not wanting to eat. Give him a little drink. He's not drinking, he doesn't want to eat. He's not handling the stress, this guy. 
but we all don't handle stress the same way. A nice little ideal pill for him. He had one this morning. He's going to get one now. Tomorrow, we will show how we give ideal pills to guys. And again, we're going to have to talk about our fallen soldiers. I don't know when we're going to... I guess we're going to start that on our next show. We're going to talk about fallen soldiers. Is there a recovery station? Yes, the recovery station is the loft. If it's... Uh, the bird's got to stay. Uh, if something is wrong, we'll pull them out, put them in a basket, but they stay in the loft. So the little mealy, little red, he's going to be in, uh, in sort of his own little section. But I find when birds sometimes get down like that, uh, it's hard to bring birds back because they have to want to live, right? You got to want to live. If you don't want to live, you're not going to live. You know, if someone, someone says to you, says to you, you know, you're, you're going to die. And I've heard some people say, hell, I'm not going to die. I'm going to live. And they, they thrive on and they do everything that they can do and they live their life. And then sometimes they live. I don't know. All right. And guys, remember, I can give them all the drugs, I can give them all the ideal pills, I can give everything. But in the end, some live and some don't. So we're not going to sugarcoat it. We're going to show you every step of the way. And if we have a fallen soldier, you're going to know about it. We've got a special wall we're making for the fallen soldiers. But anyways, you're looking right here now at section number four, the green machines. And again, you can't tell, they don't have the green markers, but if you look at this bird, you're gonna see an electronic ring and a green marker. Good video, yes, we try and do good videos. Guys, sorry if you have a bit of seasickness, I recommend having a couple drinks before you watch this. It'll calm your stomach down. Hey, Ian, happy birthday again. There's your man, Bubbles. I think this is Mike Martin's right here. Look at he's crossed between the green machines and the orange, what was it? The orange rockets. Oh, Mark Bombat. I know this guy's yours because you put the little orange marker band on. Look at this. Ba boom. Just showing you the birds. And guys, we try our best. We give 110% every day with these birds. We want to see you guys succeed. We don't look at these as perch fees, these are little, little, little racing machines. And we want to do the best for these birds as possible. That's why we're going to take you every step of the way. There's a Fernando D tree, the pair he brought right here. Again, down from uh, from uh, Frank Elkman pigeons that uh, he purchased. And, and you know, uh, Fernando bought uh, a very nice uh, bird in season one from the Elkmans that produced a combine winner for Corey Owendike. Congratulations to Corey on that. But uh, we're just showing you the birds, guys. Giving you a little up close and personal. Let's go. Yeah, if you have any questions, guys, don't be shy. Ask away. If I don't like the question, I'm still going to answer it, but I'll just roll my eyes. <laughs> yeah, guys. Hey, and I recommend today a perfect drink of choice because it's Happy Cinco de Mayo Day. It is a little bit of tequila, and you can still call it Sweet Jack. Don't worry. Look at this, we got, we got a little rumble in the box here. And this is why we like box perches. The birds have to start to take ownership. Ownership, ownership, ownership. Now this bird right here comes from Calgary. He had a really rough day or two when he first got here. Big bird, couldn't find the water. He was, he was like a lost, he was lost. Didn't know what was going on. But an ideal pill, two of them hooked him up, gave him a drink of water and the bird bounced right back around. Yeah, uh, Frank had a, a checker. The problem is it's a checker, and I can't remember all birds, uh, especially checkers. Uh, I mean, a checker sort of looks like this one here. Same kind. He's doing good. No problems. And again, guys, Frank, he took the time uh, to, well, Frank and Emily, they both took the time to put the birds uh, into their garage, into a, a basket for about a week and a half to two weeks. Uh, and you know what? I noticed these birds... Uh, I'll show you here them now. I'll show you the chocolates anyways. They never took a backward step so far. Knock on wood. And again, guys, I'm saying knock on wood. But there's the two of them right here. Top perches. 
Orange marker on the Tino bird. Well, let's see if I can find him. He's got to be a little checker in here somewhere. Let's see. Oh, I probably showed him. That. Maybe that's him there. We got two little checks in here. He was a light checker. I think he was a light. Ah, there he is right here. There he is. There's the little Tino right here. Let's pick him up and put him up on the top shelf. What a Bobby Dazzler this little guy is. There's your Tino Bergman. Tino Bergman from Germany, an outstanding flyer. Outstanding, guys. I had the privilege to meet him. Meet him in, uh, in Poland at the Olympiad uh, about a year and a half ago. And uh, as soon as I put the pigeons in my hands, my mouth fell to the floor. And uh, when these birds came here, the people that came to handle them, they said the same thing. Quality, quality, quality. Basketing system works great. Yes, Mark. The basketing system works great. Guys, if you want to ask two guys that do the, have done the basketing system that I'm not going to say they heard it from me. They may have heard it from other people. Okay, ask Mark Bombach. Send him a message. He'll let you know what he did. Yes, Bill, birds are looking good. Bill, I can show you your two here in a second. If you could just hold off with me. He is in the, la -da 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 -da, the Purple Knights section. There's Wolf Wolfamania here. I'm in, I'm in section two, which, oh boy, are the Yellow Warriors. I'm getting good at this now. Jesus. Anyways, Pete. Nice birds, Frank. Yes, Tino had some great birds. I want to go over because Bill's on. And I know Bill's, one reason I know Bill's birds is because Bill has red bands on his birds. And look, I didn't lie to you. Bill from Winnipeg, the peg, he's like the, yeah, is it still snowing there? And Bill, watch out, you don't hit a moose. Steer clear of the moose in the peg. But anyways, there's both the Bill's birds from V&V &V Loft. Again, uh, shipped very nicely, nice, uh, large basket. Uh, great ventilation. Birds had great body weight. Uh, Bill sent them in case, in case you know, hey, there, there's a delay. His birds would have no problems. Nice, large crate. No snow yet. Okay, good. Doesn't make them fly. Huh? All right, let's go back over here to section one. Section one are the orange rockets. They caused a bunch of chaos after feeding today. Bloody bad. I'm going to have to come up with a name. I, I wish you guys would have called them the Twisters. Because, guys, remember, like, in beer leagues and stuff, you know, the, the, the Orange you know, the orange Twisters was the team you played on Fridays, and they were always drunk or something, so you called them the Orange Shit Twisters. But these are the Orange Rockets, and we can't come up with any slang names yet because why? They're, they're just on fire. Uh, give, give us time. and Guys, remember, these team names, there's a reason we've done this. And we want you to keep participating along. We want you to have some fun. We got some killer, killer, killer prizes. Oh, and by the way, yes, we did take in a few more than 100 pigeons. So, yes, the prize money is going up. cha 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 ching And, guys, I want to be right up front and honest with you. The nice thing is every pigeon that you see in this loft right now, they have all been paid for in full. So we're not waiting. There's going to be no excuses to say, oh, I'm waiting for... Glenn to come up with his his money for his bird, so I can't pay you. Stuff like that. And again, guys, look at this. Loft Manager Richard showing a new breeder, bringing him down, showing him the ropes. That's what we like to see. Pardon me? Ray. Ray. See? Hi, Ray. Anyways, <laughs> we're having fun, guys. And again, we've added some new floor dressing in. The yellow bander, yeah, I, well, I can go up and get one. Do you want me to go grab one? All right. All right, guys. So, the, Guys, we're going to talk about the fallen soldiers here. And uh, again, I want to thank you guys for tuning in with us. What are fallen soldiers? Does anybody know? Well, boot camp starts. It's, well, it's already started. It's been on for two days. But the birds are going to be getting their marker rings. Uh, and their electronic rings, because we want to start using the electronic clocks, getting the birds used to that and everything. Again, you're seeing the outside of the 32 by 8 Pioneer Invitational Loft. So, the fallen soldiers, and how this is going to work is, if a bird can't make it, can't be naturally strong, can't stay on the program, and does not 
Um, stay alive, I should say. Basically, we're not going to sugarcoat it. And that's what I like about Loft Manager Richard. The, what? <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, stock market for payment. Don't worry about that, guys. That's that's a different race. Anyways, let's get back to this. Fallen Soldiers. Bom, bom, ba, bom, bom, ba, bom. Okay, so if a bird kicks her, does not make it, dies, this yellow bander is going to be going into the loft. We're going to have to pick a nice special spot for it. It will be in the loft, and the band will be retired on here. Now, since we like to give first prizes away, we got to have a first prize for the first fallen soldier. What do you guys think? I'm hoping we're going to get some thumbs up for that. Prize for the first fall, fallen soldier. That's the first bird that passes away. What's the prize going to be? You want to know. We're getting some thumbs up. Wow, we're getting some wow faces. What do you think that prize should be? Guess I should ask my lovely sister. What should that first prize be? Yes. The first prize for the first, the first bird to pass away. No, not a free entry for next year. It's going to be 200 Feathers Elite dollars, so you can use at any auction that Feathers Elite puts on next year. You have an opening of $200. And guys, we have to make light of this a bit because we do it in our loft. Sometimes birds don't make it. And if I get all depressed and miserable and cry and all, I won't have pigeons. So this is how we're going to do it. The first one that kicks her, unfortunately, someone's going to be the first. This is life. And we're going to give a prize, 200 Feathers Elite dollars to use at any one of our Feathers Elite auctions. Yes, we will send you a nice little uh, certificate in the mail. And uh, how about a bottle of vaccine? <laughs> no, no, we're not going to take a bottle of vaccine. Right now, looking like in the lead there, the little red fairy in the corner. Um, again, guys, I'm just, I got to have some fun with this. If, if, if we're going to do this the right way. Again, I just want to show you the birds. There's Wolfamania. And this is why we love the box perches, guys. And again, these boxes, what are so nice about them is birds can tuck back in if there's any type of draft in here, which is really no draft. Uh, it just, I love the boxes. They seem to work good. And again, we show people around. We're constantly, constantly have people over. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and Little Red will come out of the section. She's going to go into her little settling, uh, just, a, just a regular basket. It'll be on granules. It'll have feed water, stuff like that. If you want to come in, yeah, just don't overly talk because I, I don't want to talk over if you'd like to show. And again, if you come when we're not darkening, yes, you can come in and take a look, guys. We're trying to get new flyers into the sport. This is a new guy. Uh, always constantly Ray promoting pigeon sport. So, shouts out to Ray. And Richard's just showing him the ropes. Uh, and letting them know and explaining the one loft racing and how this is going to work, which is good. Lots of fun. Uh, again, guys, we want to thank you guys for tuning in with us. At night, uh, in the afternoon here, after I scrape the floor for about an hour, I will open the hallway right up. And I'm just going to show you what I mean. This is why we like to build a, a loft with double doors. We can open this up and get some fresh air in here after we scrape the floor to dry it out. Uh, in the summertime, we're going to have a wire door on here. If we want to open this up again and get some more air in, it's not a problem. Again, these birds have been on the dark. I'm just going to come out of there because Richard's in there. Um, these birds are in the dark. I go in and there's absolutely no smell of pigeon whatsoever. Again, we want to show you these settling Avery's. So you see how it works. It's not overly big, not overly complicated. Guys, these here are for them to sit and think. Sit and think, sit and think. It's like their little desks at school. These here are about, each one of these is about 10 feet long. 10 by 3. Holds the birds very, very, very comfortably. 
Again, you can put your waterers in front during the day. You put your waters like this, birds can have a drink. So we want to thank you guys. If you're wondering, hey, how to build a settling aviary, you don't want to build a monstrosity of a big fly pen. Guys, this works good. Doesn't look bad. Your partner probably won't hate you for it because it looks half, half decent. Well, if you like it, give us a thumbs up. What time do you darken? Dave, the birds get darkened at about 4 in the morning. One of us gets up. We normally draw straws for that. Maybe one of these times we'll do a 5 o'clock in the morning. Come on in. Wolfie's in the house. Oh, Wolfie's here. Every time you guys see the name Marion, guys, do a little howl yourselves. Give some wow faces. We start darkening from about 4 in the morning till 12, 30, 1 o'clock. Uh, every day and we're gonna do that for about 12 weeks and uh, Again, I was gonna get some photos of the darkness of the loft again birds can go up birds can go down They can get a drink they can pick we always We're gonna try and do that tomorrow uh, so you guys can see we always leave feed with them uh, They've got a little extra corn here with them but and clean water birds have clean water clean feed all day long we are not cracking the whip on these pigeons. That's meaning I don't want them to chew my shoelaces off. We want them to be big, strong, and healthy. Uh, and we like to feed, feed, feed. And overall, I'm thinking it's pretty good. I would really like it to heat up a bit, warm up a little bit more. I think that's going to help them just to take that chillness out of them again. Guys, birds get stressed out, and we are asked a lot of these pigeons right now. They've come from all over, and these guys have a big responsibility. They got to carry money on their back. They got to try and represent their breeders. They got to fly in the up north combine, which is the largest in Canada. And you know what? They got to darken. So let's give them a break. We're just showing. We, we are going to be name your bird prize raffle that we have. We are going to be doing the, uh, the raffle. We're waiting for the last contestant from Montreal to come on in. Uh, he's driving down. He doesn't want to fly them, which is fine by me. Uh, I let him know that boot camp has started. So he's got some... He's going to be behind the eight ball. And uh, guys, we're not accepting any more. So we just want to show you. And you will see when... Those, those, those Joseph doors are getting to me. <laughs> you will see birds that have been out all day. They, uh, when they come in, they're tired. They're done. They've had enough. And we just like to get in here and show. And, and, and you guys may say, well, all they were were out in an aviary all day. Out in a settling aviary. They didn't even move anywhere. Guys, on their brain, they got to think, 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 think. They're in a new place. They're fighting for their box. They got to switch the feed. There's so much mental stress that goes into this, and this is where the devil comes. Pigeons that weren't trained to handle stress, the devil will come. Will come to them. And that's why you may listen to me and say, oh, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Guys, I've had pigeons for over 38 years. Okay? Stress kills. Stress Stress stresses out little kids in, 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 in kindergarten. Stress stresses out people in university. Stress kills fully grown people. It's all how you handle stress. So guys, think about it. Ask Mark. Ask guys like Dave Ottaway. Ask. Ask guys like Dan Gagoric. They get their birds ready to handle stress. And this is why people... Some people are on the top of the list all the time. You see the same names because they get their birds ready. This isn't about pedigrees. Well, what, Bill fired in a question. I just got to read this one. Ooh. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, we have to see if we can find the, the tape for that. I got to take a look. Good idea. I was always wondering if the electrical tape screws up uh, any of the electronic rings. We don't want that. But anyways, you know what? We can look into that. Again, at the start here, it's not, uh, not going to be an overly big, big deal. 
we're gonna have some fun with this. Let's not over overthink it. But uh, yeah, our, our man, uh, our man from Montreal. For you guys who are wondering, well, where is he? No, he's not wa walking. He was just tied up with work, and he wanted to drive his birds down. And uh, he's bringing birds for not only Rick Fife, but uh, the other race there, the Salem race. So he's going to do it all in one shot and save uh, save the stress on his birds. That's fine by me. Again, guys, if you all have your birds here, you're already ahead of the game. Your birds are... All right, Bill, super. I will have to... Uh... Look into that, because uh, if you've had no problem with the tape, then uh, maybe that's what we can do, is it will work on the E-bands. Good idea. And that's, hey, guys, duct tape comes in different colors. Yes. See, guys, this is part of the Pioneer team. This is what we're talking about, thinking outside the box. I went with marker bands. Now you guys are into electrical tape. Hell with the electrical tape. We got duct tape. <sighs> There's always nail polish. No, actually, guys, I did try nail polish once. It chips off. So don't go with nail polish. Bad idea. Bad, bad idea. No effect on the bands. Thanks, Derek. Again, those are the two D tree birds huddled up together. We're all having fun. We want to thank you guys for tuning in to Pioneer Live. All right, guys, we're, we're going to get ready to wrap this up. Uh, if you have any more questions, I'll stay on here for about another couple minutes. Uh, if no questions, then that's fine. We will wrap it up. Uh, tomorrow we, again, are going to be banding section number one, the Orange Rockets. Yes, that's right. The Orange Rockets are going to have their banding day, which you are going to be able to see, follow, because we're going to do it live. We're going to run it live, and you're going to be a part of it. Their electronic chips are going to go on. They're either their tape or their marker bands are going to go on. We're going to figure out that there and uh, just go from there. Around 4 in the afternoon. So these guys are probably going to have a day off from being settled in the settling Avery. Because they're going to go through a lot of stress with basketing. They're going to go back into a basket again. Um, and that they're pretty much it. I don't want to over overstress them. Give another section an opportunity to do some learning. Um, but yeah, guys, I think, uh, I think this has been a pretty good show. No more questions. Uh, I gotta have a little sippy poo again, guys. Congratulations to all the team names. And yes, we are going to, uh, we are going to put uh, a list of what team you're on. Okay. We're going to put that down. So please don't panic. If you don't see it right away, we're, we're going to have it up. We're going one team at a time. We're not doing all the birds on the same day. One team at a time. And guys, please, no trolling. Teams are teams. This is for fun. There's, there's, there's not a million dollars at the end of this. Fun. Beer League. Pigeon Boss. Keep yourselves hydrated. God, this was a good show. Hope you guys had fun. I know I had a blast. I was dancing around. The, or the Orange Rockets had me going. Uh, oh, also, if anyone wants to know, the clocking system we're going to be using is Unicon. Can't go wrong with Unicon. It's my favorite, to be quite honest. I've used Taurus. Yeah, Henry, don't worry. We have your clock. I'm going to fire that up one of these days. Here's probably sooner rather than later. Um, i got to get my hair cut. I don't know if things have opened for that. My hat's a little dirty. Pigeon uh, Boss Swag is on its way, so be patient with that. We're going to be doing the raffle for the name giveaway once my man from Montreal gets in. So, guys, if you see him on the highway, honk three times. Remember, guys, tomorrow, the Orange Rockets, a.k.a. could be the Orange Shit Twisters. I don't know. Orange Rockets, they're going to be chipped, powered by Unicon. And again, guys, if you guys see Mayor Bruce or... Uh, Jason Nelson, let them know we're looking for them. We want to do an interview with the, the president and the vice president of the Up North Combine and even Annie Pilata to talk about liberating 
and what they do to make this combine so great. Anyways, guys, I got to go. It's been a blast. I got to go take care of Orangey over in there, give him another drink uh, and section him out into his little basket. Guys, thanks for tuning in with us. Remember, first one on the, on the, uh, the Fallen Soldiers, 200 Feathers Elite dollars. That's right, 200 Feathers Elite dollars for season three. That's a good, that's a good win. That's a win right there. All right, guys, I got to go. Thanks for flying with me. Bye for now.